One of the most iconic structures in Segovia is the aqueduct. The aqueduct of Segovia was built by the Romans in the first century and was used as recently as the 1920s. The aqueduct brought water from the rivers up in the mountains and runs for 15 kilometers, about 9.3 miles. The base structure uses no mortar or cement. We're here at the aqueducts of Segovia, which were built by the Romans. The construction of the aqueduct is based on a series of 167 arches. The tallest point of the aqueduct is 93 and a half feet tall. One of the lesser known facts of Segovia is that Segovia is part of the southern route of the Camino de Santiago, also known as the Way of St. James. There are many pathways through the city of Segovia. A hill-based city, there are many pathways to explore. Segovia is a city that was born in warfare. In addition to being built on a hill, it has an extensive wall to protect the interior. The Casa de los Picos is an example of this wall and was an entrance gate in medieval times. Now it serves as a modern art school. Segovia was conquered by Christians, but the Moorish influence is still seen on many buildings throughout the city. On this building, you can see the Escrafiado, which are intricate designs made on the wall. In 1504, Queen Isabella's father died and the aristocracy tried to kidnap her. The people didn't like this and rebelled. One of those people that rebelled was called Juan Bravo. He eventually got caught and his head was cut off but the people erected a statue in his name to remind the aristocracy that the people did matter. The patron saint of Segovia is San Frutos, or in English, Frutas. A legend states that there was this hermit named Frutas who was being pursued by Moorish forces. While running, he stopped and pled with the Muslim soldiers to convert to Christianity. They, of course, did not convert, so it is said that Frutus drew a line in the ground and said the Moors could not cross that line. The Moorish soldiers, of course, did not listen to Frutus, and so it is said that the earth opened up and swallowed those Moorish soldiers. Ever since that day, St. Frutus has been the patron saint of Segovia. The Moors may never have entered the Cathedral of Segovia, but the Moors' influence and design is very notable in the cathedral. Inside the cathedral, you will find the statue of St. Frutus with a book. The legend says that he is holding the Book of Life, and when he turns the last page of that book, the world is going to end. In addition to Moorish influence, the Italian influence is also felt in the Segovia Cathedral. The main altarpiece is a work of the renowned 18th century artist Francisco Sabatini. On the side chapel of the Piedad, in English known as the Pieta, you will find the sculptures by Juan de Juni. Juan de Juni was a French artist but had taken residency in Italy and was therefore highly influenced by the Renaissance artists.
first known history of the Alcazar of Segovia goes back to about the year 1000. Back then, it was a Roman fort. The building looks like a castle, but the word Alcazar means fort. The Alcazar of Segovia played a major role in the rise of Queen Isabella I. When her father died, the aristocracy tried to kidnap her so they could control the crown, but she took refuge in the Alcazar until her loyal subjects came to her aid and named her the Queen of Castile and Leon. We thank you for watching and hope you enjoyed this video journey of Segovia. If you like this video, please comment, like, and subscribe. This lets me know that you're watching. Please stay tuned as we continue on our journey through Spain. Bye for now. Music